Many fish. Still the 26th November. I was just here on YouTube's home page. I'm looking down. I see the trailers here. And I see this. It's only 53 seconds. Disney. Uh, Disney is always interesting. And I know that this is um, supposed to be quite the little cartoon they're releasing here. It's been 13 years since the first one. And no one can get an answer as to why it's taken 13 years. And they're only leaving you a little 53 second teaser. Okay, with that big introduction, I just click on the, the clip, right? And I'm not going to play any sound because I will probably get, like, penalized or thrown in YouTube jail. But first, you see right off the bat, I mean, in case people don't know, you know, you got little Tinkerbell putting the uh, the dome over the castle. And, of course, let's not forget the Disney 666 classic signature, right? And then we get the basically the Helios looking at the X, okay? See the, the, little, the little Helios? Ah, uh, man, I'm not good. This guy. That's what that represents. Same thing as Bono there. That and that represent the same thing. Ta-da! And the X. You know, when he first when they first show it, he's he's staring at the X. Okay. I could take all day on this thing, but this is hilarious. In not a good way, you know. Cute little baby, nice little symbolism. I could pick at the symbolism and all of a sudden the baby starts shooting lasers and it's giggling you know it's cute and there's all kinds of stuff going on here but then it gets up to the the symbol here and it's like hmm something wrong it splits the eye and creates its own little black sun now i'm not gonna really dissect this symbol right now because it's uh it's a combination of quite a few things, and I don't want to, like, be, you know, leading you down all these tracks. Anyway, this guy, he's all happy to find out that his little baby's got powers. And the little baby sneezes, and fire comes out, and all kinds of lasers and everything, right? It's just crazy, you guys. I'll show you what I mean in a second. And then, you know, the guy's like, whoa, and the baby giggles, points at him, and the guy looks at the camera... The baby's giggling and pointing, right? No big deal. And that's all you get. So, I mean, I just grab a few stills, you know? I mean, it's real easy to do. I just snip them out at the, the pertinent areas that I wanted to get. And, you know, this is the little baby when he first splits the symbol. But what, all I really wanted to show you was uh, this part here where the baby sneezes and fire comes out. Well, check out. I don't know about you guys, and you can, you can, I don't care, you can look at it any way you want, but at this particular frame right here, 39, uh, this guy is notably horrified. Look right here. Is he not staring eye to eye with a demon right there? Look at that. There's the eye, top of the head, and the nose, his mouth is open. That's what I see. And, you know, I was like, well, maybe not. And I kept going. So I took a few more frames. And what is this? Three seconds, four seconds later, the little baby staring at him. The guy's smoke coming out of his head. And that looks like a serpent to me. It just does. And that one I'm sticking to. That little mouth open there. And if you watch the cartoon, let's see. Uh, right around here, right? Let's see. I want to get it right. Do, 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 do. Yeah, here we go. Watch. A little puff of smoke comes up. There's the serpent. Clear as day. Right? And that's not it. Check this out. You keep going like another frame. And the serpent turns into like a Baphomet skull. Clear as day. Check it out. They even It does it two frames in a row. This is what the, all the little children are just looking so forward to. A little baby sees it. See that? A cute little baby sees it. Watch. You'll see it come out of his head. 
the snake turns into boom. You see the Baphomet head go by there? It's just two quick frames. Poof, poof. And he's gone. Then he turns and looks at you and boom. Look at that. It's like a perfect... This, I don't know what it means, but it's pretty obvious. It's like the next frame turns into like a question mark. Okay? Then it keeps going. Then it starts to look like more like a seven. Then it looks like a perfect seven. Okay? And right here, when it's turning to seven, the little baby's laughing and the little pointy on his head's pointing over there. I don't know if that means anything. And he's looking up, a little devious look on his head, and it almost looks like it's a seven and a one. And I don't know, I'm just putting this stuff out there more for the fact that Disney is also an evil arm of the synagogue of Satan, and they've been literally, oh man, abusing our children, including us. I mean, Disney's been around since I was, before I was born. We used to sit around and watch Disney on Sunday night and everything. And my mom, she thought it was the greatest thing. And now they put all this crap in there. You know? I just wanted to show you that because I came across it just floating around on YouTube. It's everywhere, folks. You know? That's just the bottom line. It's everywhere. And you need Jesus in order to know what to do. It's just that simple. So I hope you know him. If you don't, I hope you find him peace and grace to you. Don't let your kids watch Disney. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 